Hello, welcome to the Toon Balloon Podcast. I am your host, Gooby, and it is so nice to meet you. Since this is the first episode of my podcast, I would like to introduce myself to you. Now, you may be wondering, why am I calling myself Gooby? Back in high school, I had a group of friends call me Gooby because of those really silly memes that were circulating back in 2015. Those memes back then were basically obscure Donald and Goofy comics, and they were called Dolan and Gooby instead. Back then, that was the humor, and honestly, even now if I look back at it, I still find it a little funny. (laughs) The name actually just brings back a lot of nostalgia, and I just thought it'd be a little funny. My real name, however, is Gabriella. I am 24 years old, and I am a mom of two. And I like to proclaim myself as a somewhat uh, competent artist. I love to draw. I have been drawing for as long as I can remember. Heck, I think I may have even been born with a pencil, which sounds awfully painful. I recently have been trying to learn how to draw on a tablet. So my husband bought me a tablet for my 24th birthday and I have been practicing and honestly it's a bit of a struggle but I think I can do it with practice and I'm hoping one day to release my own web comic but I would like to be able to produce more art quickly in time. Maybe one day I can publish my own comic. I hope all of these stories that I digest can teach me how to write my own. I personally prefer creating cartoonish art over realistic art any day. I do think I am capable of more realistic pieces, but I don't find them as fun. <laughs> I, I find them satisfying when I finish a realistic photo, but my problem with them is that when I do it, I find them tasking, and when it comes to drawing anime and cartoons, I, I feel like I have more freedom. There's so much more creativity that goes into creating your own character and backgrounds and whatnot. After being introduced to webtoons, I feel like the whole world has been opened and there's so many possibilities. There's not much else to me that I think I can really, you know, lay out there without exposing too much about my life. (laughs) But I do find my artistic abilities to be one of my biggest qualities. So I felt like that was really important to share with you. I am also working on my associate's degree at a local college. So that's what I have been doing ever since the pandemic started. So once we were in lockdown, I started school. (laughs) But you know what? I was going to start at some point. Luckily, it's all online. So I don't have to deal with the anxiety of being in a classroom with so many people because sometimes I find that I get quite distracted in a room full of people. Sometimes I see things and then I'm like, oh, there's something to distract me with. Convenient. (laughs) I currently work with a lot of kids at my job. When I am not working or getting educated, I am either partaking in one of my many hobbies. One of them is indulging in manga or reading webtoons. When I was in high school, I binged manga daily on my fourth gen iPod Touch. I had an app that would update new chapters daily and I was glued to it. Now you know that I am just a huge weeb I have no shame whatsoever, it brings me joy, and I have made the greatest friends for being who I am. (laughs) Now, when I read webcomics, I don't know very many folks who read them as well. I know plenty of people who indulge in anime and manga, so I never lack in discussion with that. However, I do wish I could talk about webtoons more, so I thought of doing this podcast. I love discussing the newest chapters that come out. I love to theorize of what might happen next. I'm the type to overanalyze this stuff, and usually my theories are wrong, but that doesn't make it any less fun. I want to be able to get excited with others because that's what makes reading these stories so fun. I usually read a lot of forums that discuss recent chapters, though I wanted to have an outlet where I could really talk about everything. The idea to start a podcast was also inspired by listening to other 
podcasters. I am a huge fan of Girl Wonder. I think she is so fun to listen to and she has a super sweet personality. I love the way she discusses webtoons. She also has a very soothing voice, which I assume is something she gets a lot. <laughs> I also really enjoy listening to Team Four Stars podcast. It's called the TalkCast Pod Show. They are so funny, and I love the way that they talk about anime and even cartoons. One of their episodes was discussing The Legend of Korra and also Avatar The Last Airbender. Those were one of my favorite episodes because those shows were my childhood, and honestly, they have molded me into the person I am when it comes to my taste in television. Now that you know that I am a huge weeb, I am going to tell you my most favorite anime in the world, and that is Full Metal Alchemist. Now, I watch the Brotherhood edition because even though I have seen the OG 2003 anime, I am unable to completely watch that show ever again after watching Brotherhood. I mean, Brotherhood is just a piece of art, considering that's what the author intended it to be, so therefore it will be a piece of art. <laughs> it will be a complete work of art. It is in the Hall of Fame. I have merch. I have manga. I will watch that anime annually. Every year, I will place everything down, whatever shows I was watching, and I will dedicate my time to watching the show completely from beginning to end. That show never gets old to me. Anytime I rewatch it, I feel like it is the first time all over again. I am not just rewatching it. I am reliving it. Now, that one is my favorite anime, but the one that I consider the gateway anime to me is Naruto because I watched that show back when I was in elementary school. I think around when I was in fourth grade, my older brother told me, Gabby, I really need you to watch the new episode of Naruto for me tonight. I need to know what happens. And I was like, oh uh, yeah, sure, whatever. And so I did because I am a great sister and I watched it that night. And I found it so fascinating. This was an episode in the Zabuza arc where Naruto unleashes the nine-tailed fox form against Haku. After that, I was absolutely hooked. All I ever wanted to do was just catch up on the show. I would have to time the day right just to watch the Naruto reruns so I can catch up because back then we still had Cable and we still had Toonami and we still had Tom which, I mean, I love Tom. He was the best part of the night, honestly, because he was always so fun to listen to. I don't know the voice actor for Tom, but I remember Tom's voice was the coolest thing to listen to back then when I was a kid. After that, um, once I finally got caught up with Naruto, I started watching a couple other animes such as One Piece, Bleach, Dragon Ball Z. I mean, you name it. There was so much back then. And I mean, it was a struggle to catch up to this stuff. We didn't have streaming like we do now. You had to time this stuff. And back then, you sometimes weren't always lucky to get a rerun on the next Saturday when they're going to release the newest episode. So sometimes there would be incidents where I wouldn't want to go to the movies with my family because I wanted to catch up on an episode of Naruto. And I remember it was a... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. It was an animated one. And I mean, I had younger siblings that were really into that movie. And I told my parents, I don't want to go because I need to watch this episode of Naruto. And it was the episode where Sasuke meets Itachi. And I mean, that was a lit episode. I was able to get a rerun, thank God, because I mean, I don't know what I would have done if I wasn't able to see it. <laughs> I mean, this is when I was in fifth grade probably, so anything was devastating at that time. So now that you know my anime history and my most favorite anime in the world, we are going to discuss my webtoon obsession now. Now, my favorite webtoon is Lore Olympus. The art style is beautiful. The colors are so vibrant. The story is amazing. I love the author's rendition of the kidnapping of Persephone. Um, I love Greek mythology, so this obviously clicked with me the moment I read it. Now that you know my favorite webtoon, I would like to tell you how I got introduced to webtoons in the first place. So my friend came over pre-lockdown 
and they pulled out their phone and asked me, hey, do you read webtoons? And I told them that I didn't, but that I have seen those occasional ads on Instagram where the characters' heads are tilted every now and then because of the way they're animated. So of course, they proceeded to show me some webtoons and the first one was True Beauty. Now, when I saw the webtoon, my first thought was, oh my gosh, this looks so cool. And then I was thinking, and this is by freelance artists and that it's free, which was insane to me because I have never heard of a website where you could just post your own web comics to. They asked me to read one of the chapters out loud, and I gotta say, I was being, I don't know if it was just because I wasn't taking it seriously. When they showed me it, I was reading in the most ridiculous voice ever, and I mean, they got a kick out of it, but I remember I was just being extra silly that day because I was having fun. A little bit later, I was like, you know what, I think I do want to look up some webtoons. So I hit them up, and I asked them, hey, can you tell me the name of that comic again? And so they do, and then after that, I started searching for some webtoons to read because I felt like reading just the one was obviously not enough. <laughs> so I end up coming across a canvas webtoon by Hazelnut called Just a Dream. And here is a summary for it. Mary Chris keeps seeing the same person in her dreams, but this person is a complete stranger to her. What will happen if she finally meets him in person? The story is so sweet, and the art is beautiful. Another webtoon I came across was called The Fate of a Rose. It is a canvas webtoon. It is written by Sushi Cat Go. Here is a summary. A young college girl tries to find a new identity through the stars competition while simultaneously trying to hide her old one from the public eye. Will the thorns of her past catch up to her and reveal to her loved ones who she was? Or will she become everything she swore to never be again just to hide it from them? Now these were the first webtoons that I read so they hold a special place in my heart. And of course I have a bunch of other webtoons that I binge. Now I usually read every update I get with each of the webtoons that I am subscribed to. The last two that I had mentioned were Canvas webtoons, so they do have a bit of a different type of schedule than the originals do. So I still wanted to shout them out just because I do find that they are wonderful stories and I hope that they can get more recognition in the future. So I definitely recommend that you check them out because they are a great read and they do have quite a bit of chapters, uh, each of them. I will probably be reviewing and discussing these two webtoons whenever they do update. So in any episode, they might be like a special case where I will have a canvas webtoon thrown in just so we can give it some recognition and discuss because these are stories that deserve to be seen because they are just so wonderful. Now I am going to list out a couple of webtoons that we will most likely will be discussing in future episodes. And these happen to be some of my favorites, so this is probably why we will be discussing them the most because I will have the most excitement out of them anyways. So here goes. Now the first one will be Let's Play, Unordinary, My Deepest Secret, Midnight Poppy Land, Everything is Fine, Love Me Not, See You in My 19th Life, a Boy and His Ghost, and No Longer a Heroine. Now, these are just a couple of them. Uh, the list would be longer, but these are just a few that I have been reading frequently. Like I said before, these will most likely be topics of future episodes. We will also be discussing manga and anime in the future. The Toon Balloon podcast is an outlet to discuss theorize, and fan over webtoons with the occasional anime and manga sprinkled in between. Now, if you would like to get a hold of me to discuss any of these topics, feel free to message me through Twitter and Instagram. My Twitter handle is gr 2 and Cheddar, and my Instagram is insert underscore gooby underscore here. Again, feel free to direct message me on any of these social media handles. 
I would love to hear any suggestions for the podcast or to even hear other webtoons you would like to talk about. Let me know your favorite webtoons, anime, or even manga series. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Thank you so much for joining me today and taking the time to listen to my humble podcast. It was so nice to meet you. I look forward to future episodes where we will discuss, theorize, and enjoy our favorite stories. This is the Toon Balloon Podcast. I was your host, Gooby, and goodbye!